most of us, we've been really dedicated or devoted to one thing or another in our life. And I saw that this was the case for me as well. There was something that I was totally committed to. And um, I spent lots of time, you know, when you're committed to something or focused on something, you spend lots of time thinking about it, and doing things related to it, sharing it with your friends, maybe your family and and all of that and when I met the training I saw that I was totally dedicated and committed you can say devoted to emphasizing my thoughts and emotions and changing them thinking that they need to change in order for me to feel better and it was quite shocking to see that upon introduction to open intelligence then the true nature of my mind I realized what I did for tw almost 25 years before that and I was like oh, I don't want to admit it, I don't want to admit it, I don't, I don't want to admit it that I spend my life chasing uh, one description after another, chasing one phenomena that I labeled as better than the other and all of that game. So it was quite like a bittersweet realization or instinctive recognition that Maybe I don't need to do it anymore. There is a solution to this strong dedication and devotion. I mean, look at your life. We are all adults, uh, at least internally adults. And uh, see how much of your time and energy you spend on sorting the dynamic display of your mind, your thoughts and emotions, labeling them. Is it good? Is it bad? Take a moment, see. When we talk about injustice, this is injustice. Don't look too far. This is total, um, it's pain. It's pain and misery to spend one's precious life and precious energy constantly trying to rearrange something that is already perfect, to fix something that was never broken, something that was always flawless, our mind, our pristine mind. There are many ideas and many uh, belief systems and assumptions about us human beings. Some of them, they seem that they have descended from the sky and others from some great beings. But what about uh, a way of life, a lifestyle that applies to each one of us regardless of our background? Regardless of whether we are calling ourselves a positive human being or a totally negative human being. I belong to the totally negative human beings category and I feel great. You know, after a lifetime of fighting with myself, thinking that it's flawed and wrong, flawed and wrong to feel the way I feel, now I allow the, the stream of my thoughts, emotions and sensations to be as they are. I got used to the vibe. Mm-hmm. The vibe of benefit, not the vibe of someone flawed that needs to be fixed. This game is over, over. Once you see, once you see that you have the option, you know, we have options in our life to buy an iPhone or a Nexus 4, to, to drink coconut or maza, all of these options in our life. And the, the most essential option, choice, that we need to exercise is whether we choose to use our mind in a primitive way indulging, avoiding and replacing our experiences or choosing open intelligence. Open intelligence is what's obvious when you stop thinking for a moment. This is the introduction to open intelligence and when you check it throughout your day you'll see that it's always there. It didn't go away when there was the next thought appearing, it didn't disappear. Open intelligence is the essence the shining forth of each description. Open intelligence and our data streams, they are not two separate entities or separate things. They are one of the same. Like the color blue and the sky are not two things, this is the same with our own experience. We can't separate them one from another. And that's why short moments, the, for, the first mainstay of balanced view is so essential. Because for many, many short moments, for many decades, we spend our life changing, replacing, avoiding, changing, replacing, avoiding. You see, it was repetitious, relentless. And if you try to do something else, everyone around you told you, no, you have to do it in order to fit the line of very um, 
robotic-like existence, you know, so you have to do it, you have to practice, and we all were really rigorous about it. And all the many New Age ideas, they also use the, the same tools of avoiding, not thinking about things, or watching them, replacing, and indulging thoughts and emotions, you know, going for them completely, releasing them in great ecstasy, and all of that kind of stuff. But we want immediate relief. Right? We are, I mean, when I read the news, I, I hear people screaming, we want relief and we want change. And I feel the same every day, all day. The, the relief and change can come about only when I, we are taking full responsibility. Not full responsibility to rearrange this magnificent display of data streams, full responsibility to choose to be kind to ourselves in a short moment of open intelligence, instinctively recognizing this bright intelligence. Many of us emphasized for so many years, myself included, pride and arrogance. We know it already. We know it already. We know everything. No one should think about me that I don't know something. And, and really hard for many of us to receive support. So in Balanced View, we ask you to take a short moment with that and see that there is incredible support available. The short moments repeated many times until they become continuous are brilliant. Any situation, physical sensations, thinking about things in a very intense way, that all your face is you know, going into that, messaging to your friends on your iPhone or Android device, all of that, there's an opportunity there to take a short moment and it becomes very practical because the instinctive recognition of open intelligence, at one point it becomes continuous. Then we have trainings, you know, all the media that we see around us is, maybe you find glimpses of some truth about them, but mostly they're so covered with so... It's hard to find the essence, and in balanced view it's like, okay, let, let's leave all the bullshit aside, and if you want to have a straight talk about reality, you're in the right place. You're reading the right book, you know, picking up a book from balanced view, a text from balanced view, listening to all of the thousands of talks from Candice and, and the trainers of balanced view, you hear the same message again and again. Dear sir, dear madam, you are perfect as you are. Stop playing around with your thoughts and emotions because it will never lead you anywhere. If you want to live a life of complete benefit, it's available right here and now. And there is support for that. No one can do it by themselves. And it's boring to do it by ourselves. I mean, I got the introduction of open intelligence and if I would stop in, there in the introduction, my life wouldn't be inexhaustibly brilliant. It would be okay. I mean, I know the nature of mind. Great. Wow. You know, it's good. It's not something bad. Like, I'm, I'm proud <laughs> of it. But then to train it up in our everyday life, see through all areas of life, and be the, the starting point is just uh, complete mental and emotional stability slash a really cool life. Uh, that's the starting point. But then... When I'm totally relaxed and potent, with the proper support, I can train my strengths, gifts, and talents. Those that I always knew are there, the leadership qualities, the power, the power of speech, of mind, of qualities and activities, I always knew it was there, but I didn't have the right support. I had a support that m made me feel wrong. If I was powerful, oh, you were too powerful. If I wasn't powerful, oh, you should be more powerful. Always something wrong, you know, always something wrong. Why? Why to continue like that when the four mainstays are there and available to anyone who is open enough? It doesn't mean that if you are arrogant like I was in the beginning, it means that you are not welcome to the training. People, I was amazed. I was so arrogant and prideful at times in, in the beginning with my questions and uh, criticism. And I was totally received with great warmth and openness that burned off <laughs> over a couple of months all of my resistance, all of my resistance completely. So we have the training, it's the second mainstay, and then we have trainers, people who have dedicated their entire life. We have the uh, example of Candice, who, who is the founder of this organization of Balanced View, and she dedicated and d is dedicating her entire life resources for the benefit of all creating the Four Mainstays for all of society to enjoy. 
And then there are many trainers in the organization, I think over 35 who are, who are doing that, or, or following the same steps. And then we have a community of people who are assuring us this is the fourth mainstay. So we have four, four mainstays. The community of people are assuring us they are exhibiting the results of what it means to dedicate one's life to the benefit of all and using the mainstays. Many people over the last year or so, or years, you can say, they, they get it immediately just by saying hello to one person. They don't need the whole introduction thing. The introduction is happening with the direct transmission. And then when the verbal introduction comes into place, they, it's nailed, you know, it's nailed and sealed forever. But the introduction to the bright nature of our mind, to our totally optimistic future, is happening with that, the direct transmission, seeing it in another person. Before I met Candice and the trainers of Balanced View and the friends in the community, I, d I never met someone like that. I was so shocked by that, the way they related to me, to each other, the, the respect and kindness, the ability to allow myself and others to be exactly as we are. I was really shocked and I told my girlfriend, something is happening here. I told her, like, something is really different. These people are, are like from a different space, planet, galaxy. And, and I was like, ooh, ooh, you know, twilight zone kind of feeling. Is it for real? Is it not for real? But I then started to taste the delicious short moments of open intelligence, and then I started to be convinced that this also belongs to me. You know how we are trained up in a hierarchical society, elitism, and all of this kind of stuff? They do not apply in open intelligence. Each one, each person is brilliant, exactly as they are. And this is our birthright to exercise. We can sit forever and talk about the problems of the world, how nasty everyone is, how humans are bad. I watched yesterday a movie. It was so intense, I couldn't sleep almost. <laughs> You know, you, the conclusion of almost each movie is people are so stupid and bad and, and dangerous. This is the conclusion of most movies. Or at least some are really, are really he evil and others are saints. N none, none of the movies I watch, they talk how brilliant everyone is. So that's the kind of media I want to listen to and watch. Of course, there comes time where there will be times in our direct experience where there will be afflictive states. Afflictive means, ooh, painful. Ah, I don't want it. Negative states, uh, not liking what we are feeling or thinking, and that's where the commitment to take it all the way is so important. For some, it's really quick. They say, whoa, I lived in... For me, it was quite like that. After a few months of knowing the balanced view, I was like, no way. <laughs> No way that I'm going back to this old way of living. For other people, it's like, like candy shed. Some, they come back and forth. They enjoy this mainstay, the other mainstay. Find a bit of results, and at one point, it becomes clear that enough is enough. <laughs> I, can't, I can't fool myself anymore. I can't take some short moments with some data streams, and then the other half of my, my life, I will emphasize my data. It's mental. It's so confusing. Better just to emphasize data streams, otherwise it's so confusing. You know there is a bright reality waiting for you to make love with it, finally. And you are still thinking about your, when you will have sex, how many times a day, and your diet, or things like that, or which car you're going to buy. We want to uh, treat all of these, the day-to-day the -day life that I just mentioned, the sex and the cars and the which drinks to drink and all of that from open intelligence. That's where true discernment comes to life. True discernment, no longer the confusion, the constant confusion that we accepted, like I'll be forever co confused kind of thing. No, total clarity, the bright clarity of the sun of open intelligence. This is what a life that is totally committed to the mainstays. These are, these are the results. Not playing around, being a contributor, a profound contributor to a, a profound society of benefit creators. 
And it's fun, you know, when we think about benefits, sometimes we, we have images, historical images, suffering, not eating, less clothes. Uh, that was for me, when I heard the word benefit, I was like, oh, saint. Oh, I, I'm not sure if in 2013 I can be of benefit to all. I can be okay and fine with everyone. But benefit to all sounds a bit like too much of a big deal for me. But it's unavoidable <laughs> once we rely on the Four Mainstays. Our life is aligned with reality and we want to be of benefit to all. It's uncontrived, it's effortless, you can't help it. We, you fall in love with yourself and with everyone. And you are responsible about that. As we gain confidence in open intelligence, for those of us who are here for a while, have been here for a while, the difference between a life, and this is what I see in my experience, the difference between the before of reification to this now, the after of life of benefit, is so outrageously different that you can't even think to that, oh, one day I'll go and visit this land of reification, of emphasizing my thoughts and emotions. It's unbelievable. No way. I don't want this to myself or anyone else. What we want is a life of complete benefit and for everyone to know that it's available for them. No more digging in the ground and jumping to the sky. Clicking one website, coming to one meeting and you're sorted forever with the perfect support that fits and is customized to each one of us according to our unique strengths, gifts and talents and display of uh, data streams, the display of benefit. Data streams are pure benefit. So all of your questions that were about like data streams as an annoying something that you want to get rid of, data streams are equal, the, they equal pure benefit. This is what we see in short moments many times and in the lifestyle of the mainstays. <laughs>